What's up, gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the locations so you can get some amazing shiny rock Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Oh, the hat. Don't worry about it. I was just filming a YouTube short. Anyway, let's go on with the video. Okay, so for the rock sandwich, all I'm going to be using is a jalapeno and two salty Herba Mysticas. Of course, there are better alternatives if you don't have a bunch of salty. I just have happened to farm a bunch, and that's that's pretty much it. It's going to be just jalapeno on the bread. All right, that's, that's going to be a very spicy sandwich, and we're going to get ourselves some rock Pokemon with this recipe. All right, so we're going to get sparkling power, encounter power, and title power. Okay, so here's our fun spot that we're going to get from this area, which is going to be West Province Area 1 North, and this is the pathway that runs down all the way to Cascarafa West Entrance. And as you can see, there are going to be rock roughs here, and not much else is really spawning and getting in our way. So all you're going to be looking for is a little blue dog as you are traveling along your way. Now, these are not giant group spawns, so you don't want to fly through these areas you want to take your time and make sure to rotate your camera make sure you're zoomed out because the blue dog will appear in this grass area as you are exploring it and going up and down this area now there's also two paths in this area as we like to cover this a lot as you're walking you can either one turn right at the first spot just zone out that area in your little pathway and come back or you can continue walking down this pathway head towards the town as i'm doing right now and i'm just making sure to check all my little rock rough spawns i don't want to miss this dog and and the ideal goal is to get three rock roughs because each of those rock roughs will be able to evolve into three of its forms the midday form the midnight form and the dusk form and because of that that is going to be three blue evolved dogs if you're the type of person who wants to catch them all and collect them all so you're going to need a total of three of these first evolutions now the second option you could do when hunting these rock roughs is simply come to this town step inside until it says the name and then just simply step out and you're going to get west province area one and some of the pokemon are going to be showing up here and it's going to be a nice little town reset to shiny hunt these dogs and all you're going to do is keep resetting rezoning until you get your blue dog to show up and that's pretty much it if you're enjoying this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because it lets me know which pokemon you want to hunt in the game and comment down below what type i should do next Next. Okay, so for the next hunting area, we're going to be going over to North Province Area 1 Watchtower. And in this location, we're going to be hunting Lycanroc. Now, there are three forms of Lycanroc. The first form of Lycanroc is the midday form. And as you can see, the midday form just looks like this, a nice brown and white color. And you're going to notice when you happen to get the shiny that it is going to be a blue color. And you're going to be finding these ones spawning all over this area during the daytime. All right, midday shiny form found nice <laughs> looking good now you can see the day has now changed you see the sky it's a little bit different and you'll start to see that we are now getting the dusk form to start spawning and you can see them by the orange color here this is going to be really cool because now if you want to shiny hunt the dusk form this is how you're going to be doing it and there's a lot of spawns but the time for these dust forms to spawn is going to be very limited now these are also going to be blue and shiny as well so if you want to camp out here the whole entire time and shiny hunt this is the best area to do it in the game and here is uh basically how to get the dust form there it is look at that during the sky all these spawns have now changed the transition is really nice so that is pretty much how to get the dust form i'm gonna shiny hunt these see if i'm lucky if not we're gonna move on to the next one. Oh my god no way oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh we just got it we just got it oh my goodness in one oh that was right back to back now because it is now transitioned to night as soon as we despawn out these dusk forms you're gonna see that we're gonna have the midnight forms just being around and spawned and these are gonna be the red ones as you can see because it's nighttime and the challenge with the dusk form is that they disappear pretty quick so you have a very small time frame to hunt them down if you're doing this overworld encounters but yeah for this guy we're gonna also be looking for the blue one and they're gonna be always spawning at night so this is the midnight form let's see if we can get a shiny for this video as well okay this is my shiny one that i threw out just so you could see oh okay he ran up to me that's the shiny one um i wasn't able to get because of my sandwich running out before but i just wanted to show you this one which is the midnight form compared to the other others so you're gonna be looking for this guy over here now there's a little trick if you want to start hunting the different forms of lichen rock and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your sandwich place yourself in the location and you're going to do date skipping until you get a lichen rock outbreak so I'm going to just do that. 
Okay, and just like that, we have a Lycanroc outbreak on the map right over here. So I'm just going to mark it up and head towards it. When you're here at the outbreak for Lycanroc, just go ahead and knock out 60 to get your maximum chances. Now, this is going to be a little different because we're going to be changing the forms of Lycanroc right after we knock out 60 to increase our shiny chances and make them really good. Okay, once you do your 60 knockouts, make sure to save again. And once you do save, you're going to close your game. And usually to time travel a little bit, you have to move up a couple of minutes. You have to move up maybe an hour, depending on how your game's going to work. And you're going to want to just switch out the time. So right now it's 124 for me. So I might just move up by, I don't know, let's say, let's go to two o'clock, maybe. Let's go to two o'clock, about two o'clock, maybe 30 minutes, 45. I'm gonna boot up my game again and see what time we get. The only thing you don't wanna do is allow your game to transition into the, another day. You don't want that to happen. You don't want the midnight to happen. Now you can see because we shifted the day, now the spawns that we're getting in this mass outbreak are going to be the day Lycan Rock. So it doesn't even matter what time it is. And I forever will now have these Lycan Rock spawns. And once you get the Lycan Rock of your choice spawning here, you're gonna pop a sandwich and they're all going to turn into the lichen rocks in that area because of the spawn changes yeah pretty much you can get your night form your midday form and you can manipulate time until you get the correct timing for the exact lichen rock you want and then at that point pop the sandwich and you should be good to go now the next shiny we're going to be hunting is going to be cloth and the best way to get to this one is from artisan west as soon as you go from artisan west you're going to be entering the lovely area three of the south province and you're going to head over to the spot where you remember where you fought the Titan Cloth. That's one of my favorite spots here. So it's coming right out of the town. Jump down over here. And as we are starting to walk, we're going to start to see these cloths over here. There you go. There's all the cloths showing up. That's the cave where cloth was the Titan one. And what you could do is a simple despawn respawn to get these cloths to show up. So sometimes I like just going up here to have them quickly despawn. You'll get some at the top of this as well, along with your Knackly showing up. And then I just jump down and then we'll be able to get a completely different spawns over here. Now, an alternate pathway that you can run when it comes to these Pokemon is by simply just heading down this path over here. Just follow this. Make sure you're not going too fast because it does take time for them to spawn. Oh, look at the Growlithe. Okay, it takes time for them to spawn in. And as we go up here, you'll get more cloths and you could climb the tower if you want. You might find some up here, but my favorite spot is to just rotate to that original area. So there's cloths up here as well. And you can kind of come up with your own pathway for these cloths. There they go. A whole nother group of them spawn again. Or the simple way is just, you know, just despawn on this entire crew out like that and then come back and just respawn a whole bunch of them and eventually you will bump into this cloths you could jump downhill if you choose to there's other locations where you can spawn them i just like the ones where it's a lot easier to have the cloth spawn but here's a clip of me getting a shiny cloth that is blue looks really good as a shiny actually it's one of my favorite shinies from this game not my favorite pokemon my favorite shiny because it's just so obviously blue in this clip over here and that's how to get uh, shiny cloth all right so if you want to to hunt Nackley's, the best spot to do is come from the Mesa Goza East Gate. Right at the entry, you're already going to see a, a lot of these things spawning here. This would be the best spot, in my opinion, to probably get them to spawn because they are a majority over here. And the cloths really don't interfere with your hunt until you move further in the area. So this is going to be a pretty good spot to hunt them. So this is basically going to be your nice Nackley pathway. You can see them over here. You can just simply go back and forth within this area because they're so boosted. So you should be able to find a shiny one. Now, the shiny ones are going to be really identifiable because their orange body and the orange top is going to be clearly seen. So yeah, you just come back to this area, roam around the first part, and you should be able to simply bump into a Nackley pretty fast at this gate. Another good area to get Nacklies will be at South Province Area 5. Now, this does not have to do with any winding paths or twisting turns like the canyon area. They're simply just going to be all on this beach, and it's going to be very simple for both players of Scarlet and Violet. Just go across this beach very nicely. Enjoy your stroll. Look left and right. And it's just Nackley Sony spawning here. And if you go close to the water, you'll see some water spawns, but just stay close to the, the front side and you'll get Nackleys. They're just, they just spawn here. Uh, that's it. And then once you hit the edge over here, you simply can just turn back and repeat and then just keep despawning out and respawning in your Nacklies. And that's pretty much how you get a shiny hunt Nackly. This next location that we're heading to, you're going to want to teleport to South Province Area 5 or just from the secluded beach. And we're going to climb up this area right here. So I'll see you after I climb up this wall. Okay, uh, we're at the top of this cliff over here. And this is the Larvitar spot if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet. 
And in this pathway, all you want to do is simply jump down, make sure you're looking around for these shiny Pokemon as you're exploring, and start just running around here and seeing the spawns you get. Remember, these are single encounters, so you don't want to zoom. You want to just take your time. You go to these ruins. You're going to go up here. As usual, I'm going to show these paths. If you've watched my previous videos, though, these paths are pretty much understood by you guys at this point. And we're going to pass these guys, climb up over here. And for the sake of time and me possibly losing a shiny, <laughs> I'm going to speed this up just a little bit more. Okay, you're going to climb up this pathway. Continue. Make sure you're zoomed out all the way. You're looking around, making sure you're not despawning any shiny ones because the shiny is really obvious. Then come around here. And as soon as you come to this spot, you basically are going to reset everything and jump down and rinse and repeat. Okay, so I went to Violet and there's actually no good spawns here in Violet. Like you guys get absolutely nothing spicy up here with a rock sandwich. So we're just going to ignore that for Violet players. That was just for Scarlet. We're going to be in East Province Area 3 for this one and it's going to be a mix of roly colies and charcoals as well as Larvitar. So this is going to be a double hunt if you're looking for these two Pokemon. Basically these guys are going to be spawning everywhere when you walk around. A lot of Larvitars here for Pokemon Scarlet players but if you're playing Violet you'll be getting more charcoal and roly colies showing up in your game if you are playing in violet so violet players are a lot more safer in getting these spawns to happen but if you are in scarlet you're going to be getting a lot more larvitars to show up over here if you're at zapapico the town we talk about this a lot in our videos if you're at the east entrance and just walk forward you'll be able to bump into a lot of there you go roly colies and charcoals and what you're looking for is basically that nice lighter blue color and if you're scarlet players you're going to be seeing your larvitars here so it's going to be a lot easier to hunt this in violet than in hunting them in scarlet so just back out pop back in get some more spawns pretty simple hunt until you get your shiny all right so if you're playing pokemon scarlet you're going to be hunting down stone Jr. and they're going to be located pretty much everywhere in the asado desert now you have two options to hunt the stone Jr. one you could simply just roam the desert and walk around and look how many there are showing up here and by the way the shiny is basically going to be the opposite stone colors on top so it's going to be darker and the spots are going to be lighter versus the original one Anyway, you can go into town, right? Just like this, Cascarafa. And as soon as you come out of the town area, show back in the desert, you're going to then get all the spawns to show up. Now, they do take a little bit of time, but there are so many spawns that happen here. And this one might be the easiest because you can keep track of them by just walking right into town like that and then walking right out. So maybe you want to do Cascarafa resets and then just look around to see if your shiny spawns. These are always the fastest ways of doing it. If you don't want to do that, you can simply just walk around the desert and see if you'll ever get a spawn. But I noticed it is actually a lot harder because they could spawn behind you. You could miss it. So I really do suggest you just stick to Cascarafa for this kind of hunt. All right, the next area that we're going to be going to is, as you can see on the map, Casaroya Lake. And we're going to be looking for Dreadnought families here. And unfortunately, <laughs> not unfortunately, fortunately for us, one already spawned right here in the waters. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, you can tell that the Dreadnoughts are going to look very different than most of the other Dreadnoughts. It's going to be a very green color. Now that that's over with, then we got a shiny, <laughs> which is pretty cool. We're going to be looking at this area in Casaroya. Basically, this entire path is a free run up to this edge, which I like doing. It's the best because you can speed run this, run across, and you have an opportunity to get family spawning and you don't have to worry about slowing down or or running fast and what's going to happen just zoom over here just do all the zooms because families of dreadnought and the chudos will be spawning everywhere you look and the cool part about the whole entire dreadnought spawning is that they do have a bunch of chudos surrounding them so you do have a chance of also getting chudos to spawn look at that that's three families right there in this running path there's another one and that makes it really good and they're really easy to identify as you saw earlier because of that that nice green color and what i like to do with this hut is walk all the way back check out all the chudos and i'm gonna head over all the way to that rock straight down there we go we're heading we're heading to that rock right there and we're gonna be paying attention to all the dreadnought and chudos along the way this is going to be a very great way, like I mentioned, of separating out the differences from having a bunch of water Pokemon spawning and having a rock Pokemon spawn. If you were to have a water sandwich here, you would most likely be getting a bunch of Azumarill and Dreadnought, making this hunt a little bit harder than it should be. And then once I usually come up to here, I'm pretty good. And then I repeat myself over again. Now, there's other places to hunt here. If you want to jump into the laggy lake, there's going to be Dreadnought spawning everywhere in the water. So if you choose to hunt in the 
the water in Castle Royal Lake, you will get spawns here as well. But just be aware, it's going to be a little laggy. And I prefer usually running on land. But I'm presenting all these different opportunities that you guys can do when it comes to shiny hunting. So you can get in the water, you can get on land, but it's going to be in this Castle Royal Lake area. Okay, gamers. So if you are hunting down Suda Wudo, this is going to be the best spot in Medali. This is <laughs> ah. I love this spot. The location I'm at is this spot facing the forest area here. So make sure you're placing yourself here because other spots will spawn fairies and other things. But look at me. I already see one, two, three, four, five pseudo woodos, six pseudo woodos. And as I enter back into town and come back into the area, you're going to see your pseudo woodos start to spawn. Now, pseudo woodos shiny is going to be very obvious. The tree's going to look a little green and it's little green spots are going to start to have little orangey reddish looking spots. So the balls will look like that. If you don't want to do town resets, which I find to be the easiest here, because look at the amount of pseudo woodos you're getting just by this tree. Like that is a lot of pseudo woodos showing up. I'm pretty sure we'll easily get a shiny if I stand around here and hang out. But um, if you don't want to just stand by the town, you could do a nice little rotate around this tree area here. I find that to be always the best way to get some shinies to spawn as well. If you don't want to do the lazy town method, because I know a lot of people want adventure and make the shinies a little more exciting now be aware that pseudo wudo is going to run really fast when it sees you so you want to make sure as soon as you spot that thing to save just in case it runs from you really quick so there's all these pseudo wudos here look at them one two three just they're everywhere they're just zooming and what i'm doing is this nice rotate around here and you can see all these pseudo wudos so you want one this is going to be the good spot and i'm going to come all the way until i reach back to medali and you can see how many we're getting there's just so many pseudo wudos and i'm just going to make my way Way right back to town. I do prefer the lazy method of Medali and just getting it. Kasuda Wudo is not one of my favorite Pokemon, but it is definitely a cool shiny. And uh, that's pretty much how you're going to be hunting down Pseudo Wudo in this game. Okay, if you want a nice overworld glimit spawn to hunt, uh, Alphanada Cave is the way to go. Only problem is because these are a bunch of solo spawns over here, you're going to have to move not really fast. You have to go a little bit slow to give them time to spawn. But if you do want to hunt these guys in this cave, this is the place to go. Alphanada Cavern. This is going to be over here by the Psychic Town. You can either enter from the top or enter from the bottom spot over here. Okay, and as I'm falling through the hole in Area Zero, this is Research Lab 4, as you can see over there. And this is the platform up here where we usually do our jumps, typical jumps in the game. And I'm just going to go to our spicy spot over here by the waterfall area where we have a crystal and a rock that we can just hop onto. It's right over here. There's the waterfall. There's the rock. It's a double crystal. This is the typical rock formation that I've talked about that is really good for spawning a bunch of Pokemon. This is best for just having a solo encounter of a specific Paradox Pokemon. But in the case of doing a little multi shiny hunting, this is going to be the third evolution of, of Nackly, which is Garganackle. Uh, Nackly, it's, this is, okay, this is really hard for me to pronounce. Uh, we're also gonna have a bunch of Glamette and Glamora over here. Obviously the best trick here is to just walk away like that, walk back towards the crystal area, and you're gonna get a bunch of them respawning in and out. And these are the shinies on screen so you can easily identify them. And the shinies should be very apparent to you. Probably Glamets, you're gonna have to do a little more eyeballing, but that's why you can do the double home zoom in to see what they are and just constantly keep going back and forth. So this is going to be a very good spot for Glamet, Glamora, and the third evolution called Garganackle, or, <laughs> or however you pronounce it. Let me know exactly how to pronounce it because I do mess up on Pokemon names and I appreciate the comment section for correcting me on these. All right, so in area zero from the research lab number two, we have our rock turned on and we can see the iron hands over here. Don't worry about this guy. We're going to move forward towards this rock location right here. And this is where you're going to start to see <laughs> knackles and, and uh, knackle stacks, some rock roofs over here. But if we do happen to climb up here, I think this is the better spot. So once you climb up this hill, as you can see, there's a bunch of lichen rocks. You can see there's knackles and knackle stacks and you can see iron thorns having the sandwich boost or iron thorns is not going to be ideal when it comes to rock as you can see it's not really that many spawns and the rock encounter is going to increase lichen rock and knackle stacks so that's going to cause iron thorns to not be as popular here so you don't really want to boost rock types when hunting this guy so we're going to ignore iron thorns there and i'm not going to really add it in as a mandatory hunt here it's going to be a lot harder because of the other spawns but this is where it's going to be so a better spawn for this would probably be the electric sandwich so that'll be in the electric video and now you know a bunch of shiny rock type pokemon locations in the game make sure to check out this one one right over here this you're gonna get something really good i got you 